Goblin Slayer is licensed and produced by Funimation and Crunchyroll. Studios White Fox, Networks, ATX, Tokyo MX, Sun TV and BS11. Based on the works by Kuma Kagya. Please support the official release. Hello dear YouTube Jack here with more Goblin Slayer episode 9. And last time, well, sort of, we woke up from our awesome threesome. I don't know if that's actually what happened. I really don't know what happened there, whether they were more literal in, like, the whole sleeping, laying with a virgin thing or what even, but hey, it healed them up nice, both of them, so good for them. Uh, then we had a bit of character building with the ice cream and whatnot. And then awesome dust explosion, because I love myself some dust explosion. With the floating eyeball demon thing. And now I guess we're gonna continue where we left off, because, well, there are still goblins in the sewers. Since, well, you got overrun by them and then you killed the eyeball thing, but you never really dealt with them, so... Yeah, they ought to still be there. And the whole question of how they got there and whatever the eyeball thing was even there for. I, mean, I don't know if it had a specific purpose, but... Yeah, actually, there's no end to that sentence. I don't know if it had a specific purpose, so... <laughs> there's that. In any case, let's just hurry up and get into this episode. I've got everything ready. So let's see if for once I can actually start the episode on my countdown. In three, two, one. I did it. Yay. Because like the last couple times I accidentally moved my mouse so I misclicked. Don't touch the creepy thing. That's never a good idea. Ooh. I mean, looks like it. And they're actually using tools and whatnot. Is it the moon? That would be amazing. Okay. Yeah, but did they carry the boat out of here? I mean, it was all green and whatnot, and there was only the red moon. So just smash it. <laughs> no? Doesn't that mean the creature could accidentally destroy the mirror too? Since it didn't seem all that careful about its surroundings. Uh, apparently you can tell. Because just from those writings, I wouldn't have been able to. Ah, uh, yep, there's an entire army coming for you. But hey, at least you're in a fortifiable position. Not necessarily that good because you can't escape, but still. Well, there's some stuff you can bring down on them. Not really sure what you're going to do with the mirror. What indeed? Still haven't answered that question. <laughs> Apparently. Opening. I mean... My initial thought was that maybe he's gonna just chase them back in the mirror, but he's not the kind that let go lets goblins escape, even if they can't come back, perhaps, somewhere. We don't even know. Like, we don't know where the gate leads. It looked greenish, and I think there was only the red moon, so... It does look like the green moon, but... I'm not too sure about it. Gotta up the volume for this. Yes, I know I do this every time, but still. You gotta enjoy this opening while it still has that freshness to it. Before I watch it so many times that it just becomes dull. <laughs> because this is inevitably gonna happen as it happens to all amazing openings. 
which is why I try. I try not to watch openings that I really enjoy outside of normal anime-ish or just occasionally when I wander into my openings folder on my computer. <laughs> Also, I somewhat enjoy the weird feeling that is talking while listening to an opening and not being able to hear my own voice whatsoever. I really can't hear myself talking even now. <laughs> there I'm back again. Ah, there it is, my beautiful voice. <laughs> and the champion too. Yep. I guess no bad memories from last time. Uh, coal? Really? Only one? Did How many did you use against the eyeball thing? Hmm. You know these warrior thing warrior things are sure handy. Somehow, yeah. <laughs> Never, huh? But yeah, she can kind of be, have a professional relationship with her co-workers when the times are required. That, that's not what I wanted to say, dang it. When times require it, sounds better. Man, that was a long run. I mean, we heard them running and then we had this whole discussion and whatnot. I mean, that's an awesome shot. I just wondered if there was anything more to it. Ooh. I forgot what these things are called. Are they just slings? Slingshot? That what it is? I mean... That's some good eyesight for the dark tunnels. And of course they are coded in stuff that I don't want to talk about necessarily. Nice safe. Double nice safe. I... I... <laughs> I don't know if that was a word I would have used. Ooh, some new spells. That's neat. Ah, there he is. Good old giant dude. Today is a productive day for you, isn't it? <laughs> Well, down to one. But I suppose you could always use the other ones that are flying your way. Or just that. I mean, you know, they're goblin arrows, but they're supposed to get a job done.
how? He just called upon like the strength of 10,000. I'm sure it wasn't literal, but still. Uh, to get that thing out. <laughs> yeah. Because that thing clearly doesn't care about his comrades. It's honestly amazing that they die with just a punch. I'm sure there's those wrong punches, but still. Well, there goes the mirror. No idea what you're gonna do with it. Okay. So, are you gonna lure it in after all? No, I, I lo always love that freaking burning eye thing. It's not really burning, but you know, the effect is close enough. So, helping out, a helping hand, so to say. Music's epic too, but. You know, for someone who's always worked alone. Oh. You're going to use the mirror as a shield. Because anything's just going to fall into it. You actually kept count. That's amazing. Well, I guess that wraps that up. Well, it looks like a job well done. I mean, not to say that not maybe some survived. Also, you could still have been buried by this. Like, you know, if there was just something that would block the mirror entirely. <laughs> yeah, probably. Really? Speaking of, where is he? Oh, there. <laughs> I would have thought of another plan, sure. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Just bring down the ceiling. <laughs> Just kick him down. <laughs> Yeah, and that's amazing. He had it coming, though. I love the visual here that he is sort of hidden behind the veil of the water. <laughs> Not sure if that was on purpose, but I don't think it was. Then what's in my pocket? <laughs> so kind of you just told him. Hmm. Oh yeah, that thing, huh? Ooh, did you help out? Hmm. 
Nah. I mean, he knows a lot of trivia. So it helps him a great lot along the way. Hmm. Another thing goblins do. First hand experience after all. So you set it up, huh? That's awfully cruel, you know? The sect? Quite damaging for your reputation now, isn't it? Or that. <laughs> Amazing. That fear, perhaps? Because it's just goblins, huh? <laughs> yeah, but what does he care? <laughs> yeah, honestly, his one track mind is really amazing in that regard. Regarding the fear, perhaps. Honestly, she is quite the amazing character. <laughs> Don't know, huh? Wow, cold. <laughs> Thank you.
That's honestly amazing. <laughs> God. That was honestly an amazing scene. <laughs> like, wow. I suppose it's good that she hadn't that she didn't have to see this. Like again, she has probably quite the high opinion of the sword maiden. Well, they also ripped our clothes to shreds, and we kind of know where that was going to go. <laughs> yeah, honestly, a job well done, I think. Deep in thought, huh? Or sleeping. Although sitting during a ride like that and while sitting is kind of amazing. <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> Oh, now I'm curious. Ooh, the ice cream thing. <laughs> it's like a... F I know I make this comparison a lot, but like a freaking drug dealer that's got a... Got a new product <laughs> available. Well then, I guess the elves got to join too, right? <laughs> Such a freaking sun today. <laughs> Don't kick me! <laughs> it's just kind of double fun because she just kicked him in the cabin before. Freaking amazing soon today. So I just kind of want to look up real quick if I got that right. Actually, there might be a post credit scene too. Uh, or not. That's 1 minute 30. Ah, probably not. Uh, like, the Sword Maiden just... Did she stage it so that people would come and uh, take goblin quests? Uh, it hasn't really that much to her. Oh, wait, there. Uh, and proclaims that she knew the circumstances behind the goblin's nest in the sewers. And he had concluded the alligator in there was a familiar. So it made the myth she took baths to cover the wounds and s then she shared with the alligator and apologized for not showing, okay? Huh. Hmm. Doesn't really say anything. So maybe I just misunderstood it after all? Like, the people who were killed, that's what we talked about, it was not the doings of goblins, so... 
was it purposefully insinuated that she did it? To, you know, sort of spread the fear and get someone to slay the goblins? Or did I actually just get this wrong? I really don't want to get this wrong because that's a big thing. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look this up afterwards to see if I got this right or wrong, because I'm really not sure. Uh, you might as well just correct me in the comments if I got this completely wrong, I don't want to. Because I'm really not sure about this. I mean, from the way she spoke, it kind of made it sound like that's what she did, since, you know, she also asked him what you're going to do with me now. As in, she did something wrong. And all that, so... If someone could just either confirm it for me or tell me what, what I got wrong, that would be neat. I mean, I'm still going to, like, uh, take a quick look at Reddit or something to see what others have to say. But, yeah, that... It was kind of an amazing scene, honestly, uh, to see this um, this great and hailed character that was of the party that slayed the Demon Lord be afraid of the weakest monsters there are. Weakest, of course, in the quotations, because that's just the common opinion that goblins are the weakest, even though it is completely common for a group of adventurers to get overrun, as we've had just previously. So yeah, it, it's a thing. And it was honestly just amazing for her character all throughout. Like, just the fact that he's even gonna come slay them in her dreams. That's just such a mm, moment. Like, obviously he has no way of physically entering her dreams, but just that reassurance could help her. So, that's amazing, honestly. Even from a blonde character like Goblin Slayer. So yeah, anyway, that will have to be all for now. So, until next time, see you then. Bye.